Hello YouTube, welcome to another one of my video. Today I have a projector to show you guys. Um, if you have seen my last video, I show you guys a very cheap and affordable projector, which is about £50 in uh, UK. Um, it was a very good projector, but it has a limitation. For example, the fan is a bit noisy and um, it shows really good picture, but only in the dark. And one of the viewers uh, seen the video and I actually went to his house and set it up for him. And now he's using it for uh, watching football uh, with his mate. Um, so now I have um, this one here from Pravet. Okay. Um, it's a support 4K, which is um, for me is a little bit misleading because it's not a 4K projector. There's no way a 200 pound uh, projector can do 4K. Um, so it's 4K supported. Um, 1080p should be the native resolution, but as always, don't just trust what it says on the box. Um, that's the whole point of having this kind of video. So first of all, this one comes in a box like this, and it's uh, quite heavy. This is a lot heavier than the previous projector that I got from Amazon. So this one I got from Amazon for about £190. Now I'm with Prime, so I get free delivery anyway. So anything I like, I always get it the next day. Even if I order on a Saturday, I sometimes can get it on a Sunday. Now, when you see, when you open the box, okay, the projector is almost the size of the box and it's really well packaged. In here we have the HDMI cable. We have instructions and a remote control. We have the power lead, the standard UK three pin LED lead, and that's about it. And let's take out the machine and have a look. Okay, so first of all, this is a lot bigger than the previous one that I have. The last one can fit in the palm of my hand, and this one is a lot bigger. Take it out of the plastic sleeve and see what is inside. Okay, so in white, it looks a lot like the 40 pound projector, but everything is like super sized. And I um, already see a different here, so we got a filter in the front to stop dust from building up inside. A bigger fan and a bigger heat sink. And actually, this one has two fans. So, a lot better cooling, I guess. But with a bigger lamp, with a um, higher power output, we are expected this to need a bigger cooling system. And hopefully, with two fans, it can move a lot more air without making too much noise. The lens is protected by one of these cover here. Okay, and this is almost twice as big a lens as my previous projector. Okay, let's put this back on before I scratch the lens. Okay, on the back of the machine we have a bit of a um, connection here. So you got two HDMI input, <clears throat> two USB port, one and two. A, I think this is actually absolute, but a lot of laptops still have this kind of connection here. I don't even know what they call, but I think it's a RGB. And here, interestingly, we have left out and left in. So I guess that is uh, the red and white is color coordinated for a, a stereo kind of a input output. And it also got video input and the RGP input on this side as well. Now, most of my uh, equipment will be either laptop or a computer, or I even have one of these HDMI wire, which I can connect to a um, lightning cable. So that will be useful to connect to my iPad. So while I can watch 
YouTube video or play games and I can still use the projector. Um, this one, the keystone or the adjustment is actually on the back and it got a little third leg in the front which adjusts the up and down angle to the front of the machine. Okay, let's put it there. Have a look at the remote control. Yeah, this might be handy. Right, let's have a look. So the remote quite simple. I'm always a bit disappointed when the, um, when they don't include batteries. Not that I need any because I got my own like a bank of rechargeable batteries. And um, the rechargeable batteries that I choose is always the long shelf life one. So they have a low discharge rate. Once you charge it, they should maintain at least half of their charge for six months. So um, for the purpose of uh, testing, I'm just going to put two in there right now. And to be honest, if you Amazon brand or seven day shops, those are the cheapest one I can find and they work just as well. Oops, that's the wrong type anyway. And I need a double A, which I have some at home, but not here. Oh wow, life sucks sometimes. Okay, so instruction leaflets, and you also have fuse and some screws. Put it over there. Optical tissue, okay, so it does come with some cleaning tissues just in case you need to clean the front of the lens. Warranty and user manual. If you can see that they have taken time to write it properly in terms of like English and grammar and spelling, then you know that, you know, a high chances that this is a quality product. Um, I would say 90, 80% of your electronics are coming from uh, China. And um, the amount of money that they spent on um, rectifying poor English is um, very um, vary in terms of which one you buy it from. So the uh, for me personally, my experience is the better the English, the better the products. Um, it only costs like, I don't know, one or two hours of a person to write good English. But if they can't even afford that, you can imagine where they cut corners in terms of the products. Okay, so I've got my projector set up now. Um, I have plugged in my uh, external um, SSD hard drive, which I store most of my uh, videos. and. Um, very bright outside. I've got all my studio light on at the moment, including a ring light, which is looking at the projector. Um, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Um, I am about six meters or five meters away from the wall. Um, my GoPro is looking. My GoPro is looking at the wall right now, so you can see what happens when I press uh, buttons. So it automatically detects my hard drive. And I'm just going to show you some example of what it looks like. Now, there is an infrared sensor at the back and in the front. So, uh, let's have a look. So it takes a few seconds to load up. The fan is quite loud, but the speaker is quite good. I haven't heard any distortion from uh, the speaker yet. Uh, compared to the 50 pound projector, the sound is much better from this machine. And um, without switching off the light, even with my sunglasses on, I can still see like very good picture on the wall. So um, you do get what you pay for. And obviously this is four times the price of the 40 pound cheap projector but you are paying 
for a better light projection. So let's uh, switch off the light and um, show you what's the difference um, between um, the light and the dark performance of the of the projector. I have to say, um, even if I come so close to the screen, the quality is still really, really good. So there is a difference between the 50 pound projector that you get and a 200 pound projector that you know you can buy. Um, it's still a lot cheaper than most of the projectors out there, but I'm sure there are better ones than this one but I can still honestly say that this is still very good value for money. Uh, so it's time to summarize the video and um, for just below 200 pound, I think it's really good value for money. Um, it is actually a lot better than my last uh, projector, which I show you guys, which is only about 40 quid. Now it depends on your budget. If 40 quid is what you have, actually that device is very good. Uh, providing you use it only in kind of total darkness or dim lighting. Um, if you have a bit more money and you want to upgrade, I think this is a very good choice as well. For just less than £200, you have a projector which is really, really sharp for um, the screen size. It's, it's incredible. You still suffer from the fan noise and sometimes, uh, you know, it, it's, that can be quite distracting. I do have my hi-fi set up here, so I just need to connect that up and um, maybe into the main sound system. Hopefully, if I have time in the next couple of weeks, I can show you a setup video. So I will mount this onto the ceiling and then I'll have everything connected so you can actually see how it is used in real life. But hope this video find, um, you, hope you find this video useful. And um, for £200, this is what you can get in 2018. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.